Hi there, Denise here. Today we're going to keep learning about garbology, the science of garbage. And today I'm going to read to you a book that is called The Adventures of a Plastic Bottle, a story about recycling. This book is written by Alison Inches and illustrated by Pete Whitehead. I hope you enjoy it. January 1st. Dear Diary, do you ever get the feeling you were meant to do something? Right now, I'm a thick, oozing blob of crude oil, deep underneath the ocean floor, and I have been here for thousands of years. But someday, I could be made into fuel like gasoline for cars or jets, or I could even be made into tar or asphalt and help build roads. I hear something cranking and cluttering about. I better go and check it out. January 11th. Hi, diary. Guess what that noise was? It was a huge drill. I was sucked through a long, wide pipe and into the belly of a giant boat they call a tanker. Because the inside of the boat is especially designed to carry liquids like a big floating fish tank. The ship sailed for more than one week, and when it stopped, I was pumped into an oil refinery. Now I will be put through a machine that will clean me and change me into a form that people can use to make lots of things like gasoline, wax, oil, and plastic. I wonder what's going to happen to me next, diary. What will I become? January 13th. Dear diary, the oil refinery was amazing. It whirled, it rumbled, it bubbled. I went through a lot of changes. I got so hot, that I just about to disappear when I turn into a light, misty gas. And just when things cooled down and I felt heavy again, I got hot and the whole thing started all over. The changes I went through were called polymerization. Before I knew it, I had become a pile of plastic crumbs. Can you believe it? Plastic! Some of other crude oil that I traveled with was turned into a paste, some into a thick, clear liquid, and some became powder. But we have one thing in common. We are all ready to be molded into a new shape. Hey diary, did you know that plastic comes from the Greek word plastikos? It means easy to mold or shape. January 29th. Hi, Derry. Guess what? I was sent to a manufacturing plant and they heated me until all my little crumbs got nice and squishy. While I was still warm, a machine squished me into a mold shaped like a bottle. When I cooled off, I was a beautiful clean plastic bottle. For real! I felt so light and strutty as I trembled into a bin with a lot of other bottles. As many as 10 million plastic bottles can be made in a day. That is a lot of bottles going out to see the world and never coming back. January 30th. Hi ho diary. Today was so fun. Being a bottle, it's great! I was clipped onto a bottling line. Whee! I flew down the line and went round and round and up and down. Along the way, I was washed and sterilized. Then, I was filled with fresh water. I even got a spivy label. They are putting all of us bottles into boxes now. I can hardly wait to see the rest of the world. 
More on white terraces wait for me. January 13th. Hey diary, today I arrived at the grocery store. They loaded me into a refrigerator right in the front row where I had a great view of everything around me. The store was filled with plastic containers in all shapes and sizes. I wonder where we will all go once we have left the store. Maybe I will find out soon. February 14th. Guess what, diary? A boy bought me at the grocery store and took me to a park bench where he looked down the cool water. The sun sparkled on the side of my bottle. Birds tripped in the tree above me. There were pretty flowers all around. It was so beautiful that I didn't want it to end. But then, Something even more wonderful happened. The boy rinsed me and filled me with more water, put a flower inside me, and gave me to his mother. I had become a Valentine's Day present. She put me right in the middle of the dinner table. Nothing can be better than being a plastic bottle. I'm looking good. February 21st. Dear Diary, this week was so great. I wish it weren't were over. I got to see many interesting things like the grocery store and the park and I was a great face. The flower wilted and was put into a mulch pile to become fertilizer. Now I am in a recycling bin, but I have lots of company a soda bottle, a peanut butter jar, and an ice cream container. Where could I be headed next? What could it be better than the life of a plastic bottle? February 23rd. Dear Diary, after I was picked up by the recycling truck, I was brought to a recycling center where they sorted all of different bottles and containers. I landed in a mountain of plastic bottles. Now, I know where some of those other plastic containers from the store shelves ended up. Did you know we're all different kinds of plastic? You can tell what kind we are by looking at the number on the recycling sign on the bottom of the container. This afternoon, all of us plastic bottles got squished. Then we got stacked in a big box called bales and loaded onto trucks. Here I go again! March 16th. What a busy day, diary. I arrive at the plastic reclining plant where I'll be made into something brand new. I was sent down the line where I got treaded, washed, rinsed, and dried. I'm not a bottle anymore. Things started to heat up, and pretty soon I got all soft and mushy. Then I oozed through an extruder where I was squished out into a long thin strands like spaghetti. After that, I got chopped into small bits. I like being a bottle, but I think I'm ready for new adventures. July 10th. Hey there, diary. I never thought I could be happier than when I was a plastic bottle, but I am. Can you guess what I am now? Did you know all of these things are made with recycled plastic? Pretty wild, huh? Did you guess, Diary? I'm a synthetic fleece sweatshirt. Can you believe something as soft and warm as a synthetic fleece was made from recycled plastic bottles? I went from crude oil to plastic crumbs to a plastic bottle to a vase and finally to a recycled fleece sweatshirt. I'm being worn by an astronaut headed to space. Wow, diary, 
This journey has been out of this world. The end. I hope you like this book and learn about the process of plastic. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you again later. Bye-bye.